Mr. Shulsky, can I help you? Stir in the concierge's suppressed aversion to Petya. Think about it. This lady can get away with doing a lot more to hotel guests than you ever could. Remember, she will only make life miserable for Pietya. Well, that's true. I hope the young master is happy to see you. <laughs> that's incredible. Thank you. I will go bring that bastard to his senses. Please join me. It will be quite the spectacle. Dear God, <laughs> we are just making his life worse, huh? All right. Let's first work on learning the truth about Petya's role in the tragedy. Pietya's. This way. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, it's this bar again. The Cossack bar. Hanya's apron. An apron with the name Hana embroidered on it. Tension is another thread in the linen fabric of the apron. Nervous impulses run through the material. Being so close to the body, it has taken over the stress pulsating from the violent movements of its owner. A tear on the apron. It seems that Hanya is the witness I'm looking for. Just snapping a bit to make sure there's nothing else to pick up here. Beer. I'd like to ask about Hanya. Hey, Zdenek. There's a stalker here asking about Hanya. Grab your buddies and get him to stop oh bothering Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Sure, this is reason for combat. All right. Uber first. Just to give us a target. Will suffering him. I'm bled, I think. I'll be able to break his action because he already has suffering. And then it inflicted suffering on one other. So now that that has happened, I'm gonna Bukovach him to kill him. And this guy is gonna get This guy is going to get planned attacked. There we go. Okay. Now that we have a bunch of status on us, we can now do what we really need to do, which is switch to Lelek. Go over here. And uh, transfers all of my status to him. And we can just punch him. Sure, we'll punch him. Then we'll go back to Uper. And we'll just do basic attack. Alright, that did not. Okay, that just gave him focus back. That's fine. 
Hey, we did it. What's going on here? I've just come to work to find all this hustle and bustle. The boss said you asked about me. What is it? Miss Hanya, I'm Victor. The guy fell off a balcony at the Imperial Hotel. You were there when Ludwig died, weren't you? I remember no such thing. I know you went out with Ludwig. It must have been devastating for you. Once again, I don't know anything. If these drunks here were still standing straight, you'd be sorry. Leave me alone. Hmm. Hanya's fear. Hanya, Hanna brushes me off. She won't talk about Ludwig or the events at the hotel. Okay. These are Hanya's thoughts. Okay. All the way back here. Postcard. A postcard from Wudge signed Love Ludwig. The woman sees Ludwig's signature and recalls an identical one on the dreaded document. The letters seem to uh, detach themselves from the paper and circle overhead like vultures. Every glance at the tragic contract causes panic, so the woman persists in her impotence, unable to make a move. Sam says, hey, Toaster. Hey, Sam. The mystery of the fateful evening. Ludwig had signed some sort of document before he died, and Hanna, the waitress, knows where it is. I sense she would like to be rid of it and get everything over with. I just have to work on her a little bit. Once again, I don't know anything. Quiet Hannah's hesitation and have her hand over the contract. Holding on to that contract weighs heavily on you. It's unbearable, isn't it? It causes you great pain. Your misery will disappear if you give it to me. You will get your peace, I promise. I can't take it anymore. I can't. It reminds me of what I don't want to remember. I'll give it to you. Damn. Here. Their contract. Thank you. Why didn't you get rid of the contract? You could have destroyed it. I wanted to, but I was afraid Pietia would send someone after me to save himself. The contract is proof of his guilt. Huh. But it was my idea for them to sign it. The Krajewskis could use some money. We could have gotten married, gotten away. It doesn't matter now. Take it. Weird dialogue skipping there, but okay. Tell me, what really happened that day? Ludwig and Pietia were both drunk and made a bet. If Ludwig walked on a railing, Pietia would pay him. A lot. Ludwig was confident. <laughs> he teetered, and... I'll be going. Anya, quit chatting. There's beer to be sold. I hope you'll use this contract wisely. What do you mean? Pietia deserves to suffer after what he did. Mm. All right, so the thing I'm confused about here is how exactly these things interact. I do think I need to force the flaw to ripen first. I don't know if these are mutually exclusive options or not. You let her in? Are you out of your mind? You should ask yourself that question. Don't act like a brat. 
You're going to be a father. <laughs> Get out of here. I told you I would pay. Leave me alone. I hope life teaches you a lesson someday. Why are you standing like that? I can see something interesting in you, cousin. What the hell are you talking about? I know about your contract. What contract? You prepared it with Ludwig before he started learning to fly, in case you didn't pay. What are you going to do with it? Maybe I'll give it to the press. Or uncle. How about that? Why did you come back? To harass me? Your father should have drowned you rather than send you to Paris. Soon you will be free and you will take it all back. I found the contract you signed with Ludwig before he fell. So, Hanya told you everything? Maybe that's for the best. I don't care what you do with it. I don't want to see that piece of paper. I hung around with Ludwig just for show, to be honest. He didn't deserve it. Are you alright? Yes. I haven't felt this good in a long time. It's like someone lifted a shroud from my head. I was a little harsh on you. Don't mention it. Although, if you want to make it up to me... Then? I know a girl who is waiting for your apology. Damn. Anna. <laughs> Alright, so I guess over the course of all of this, in ripening people's flaws, Victor is taking them for himself. Which is probably good and bad, all things considered. Because it unlocks new dialogue traces for us, but it seems to be kind of a pain for us as well. Keep getting stuck on stuff. Oh yeah, he is the chief of police. I forgot about this. What is this? Voronin Russian pig, fuck off. Huh. So the locals don't love Uncle Voronin. Tell me, boy, what's up? So what's new, uncle? Crime to underworld, as usual, thanks. We need to talk about Pietia. Great. Yes, you know what? Let's start walking again. It's kind of stuffy here, you know. And on the bench. I'll be able to think straight about what you're saying. <laughs> well, shoot, boy. No matter how much it hurts. Ludwig and Pietia got drunk and they made a bet. Ludwig had to walk on the railing for a large sum of money from Pietia. <sighs> we know how it ended. Pietia. Pietia. What have you done? Well, you'll soon be a grandfather, uncle. Congratulations. So, my son will have an illegitimate child. Who is the poor girl? The important thing is he wants to take care of her. He's taking responsibility. Responsibility? Damn it, Victor! He should have thought that before! 
Is there anything else? That's all, Uncle. Thank you for taking care of that matter. I believe that if your younger self had that kind of support, your life could have been different. Tell me, what will happen to Pietia now? He will, as you said, take responsibility and marry the mother of his child. I will make him, if I have to. Unfortunately, from what I understand, the Krajewskis have finally agreed to talk to the press. Maybe it's better that way. Don't worry about it. It's getting late. I'll take a walk and think. Good night. Good night, Uncle. Hmm. My God, we made no experience. <laughs> we got absolutely no experience from that. Um. So we can't do this one yet. Let's look at the Taylor's dilemmas again. I don't think there's anything for us to collect. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. So we'll just have to um talk to Svetlana. Shut up, Snake. Did you think we wouldn't find out? It's your tsunami. I hope you clean up after yourselves. Romianceva, here's your new sakamierni. But I haven't done anything. We can always come up with something. Arrest him. Is this the Akrana? It must be. Snitch, informer, instigator. Hmm, this is scary. Focus. So these two. Lelek on him first. So I want to save my Uper attack for this one when I need to regain health. So we're going to Lelek first. All right, we'll do that. And then for him, old wound. All right, that has happened. I can agony him. And now, Bukovac. Howl. I'll just try to put as much suffering on everyone as possible. All right. Let's see. Old wound. Howl. That will break him. Yep. Oh. All right. Quick attack him. Who should I attack next? There we go. This will kill that one, I think. Sure. Bang. Four damage a hit from now on. Or no, three damage a hit from now on. They're going to be basically dead, so... There we go. Oof. All right. Now this should be simple. Ooper, heal me. Diversion. If we can just delay him, it didn't work. 
Oof. All right. All right, give us 22 health back and we beat him. I'm getting better at the combat here. Now that we have this many personas, it's it's actually easier. Bill says yeesh, four on one. Yeah. Attacker's hat, threadbare but clean. The hat smells of a freshly printed tabloid. It boils with curiosity about the Sofia Skawan incident. Because, after all, might Rumyantseva reveal a tidbit of information during the interrogation? Information that could be passed on to Governor General Skawan and thus garner his favor. Attacker's wallet. In the wallet of one of the attackers, I found the idea of an Akrana officer. The attackers, I may be able to use this document for my own purposes. Okay, so there is more supernatural resonance around here. Svetlana's letters. A bundle of letters from the Russian ambassador in Vienna. They contain criticism of the empire. The letters are covered with the hoarfrost of cold calculation. Its flowers blossom in a pattern on the sheets of paper, expressing a thought as clear as a shard of ice. Hand over the letters to a superior, put a noose around the traitor's neck, accept a promotion, be appreciated for once. The attack on Svetwana. The Akrana officers came for Sofia Skawan, but stayed because of Svetwana's letters. Showing the correspondence to the authorities would have meant the news for the aristocrat, bringing the officers one step closer to their coveted promotion. So long as they kept climbing that career ladder, the cost didn't matter. Just be careful here. If you hadn't shown up here, I need a moment. Leave me. Why are the Ohrana after you? Evidently, they got tired of sending threatening letters. Or maybe it's because my last soirée ended with a scandal about the Governor General's daughter. I think they're looking for someone to blame. But you had nothing to do with what happened to Sofia. I know, but how can you be sure? Mm. I do not think the new Governor General is a subtle person. They say he has a photo album of convicts he sent to the gallows. Before <laughs> and after execution, so I've heard. Blood will be shed, Victor. Skowan will be looking for the person who hurts his daughter. But that wasn't me. Yes, it was. Truth be told... Yeah, Victor. There was a wild salutar at the party. Anyway, if I hadn't caught him, then Samira... Your father was right about you. Don't you dare. No, don't you dare. You're the one who caused the trouble, so you're going to arrange my safe transportation to Vienna. Is that clear? Yes. Good. And now forgive me, but I have no intention of staying here a moment longer. Where may I await your return? At the Nadarzyskis. Perfect. Can we leave immediately? And Gamer says, I guess Victor doesn't use weapons to prevent standing out since most can tell he's using thaumaturgy. Otherwise, I don't know why he'd just be punching against a sword and a gun because he doesn't walk around with a sword. He has a gun, though. He'll use guns against characters in the back row. Come on, I'll hail you a carriage. Wait, my travel chest. I never go anywhere without it. I might feel safer if you rode with me to the Nadazhinskis. <laughs> if I'm going to help you, I first have to visit the place where a friendship was born and more than one hope died, where the gods of chaos lounge amid the absinthe fumes. What? 
I need to go to the London bar. Just hurry, please. All right, so we gotta go to London Bar and talk to Abaritza. Which I believe is this way. Oh. Trying to train my left uh, hand to work on this trackpad and it is tough. Funny photo, here we finally look like ourselves, laughing school kids, constantly in search of a new bra, and they have Abaritza to keep it. A few days, Mr. Digits. A few days! You see this guy? M Mr. Digits, I'll pay it back, I swear. They're running tomorrow at Makoto Frey's track. I I'll win. Deal? We had one as long as you paid your dues. I'm begging you. Quit your bawling. You'll get tear stains on my rug. It's Persian. <laughs> you look tired. Want a coffee? Yes. Whenever I see you, you torturing somebody. Is there something you want to talk about? Don't you psychoanalyze me. Just tell me if you want coffee. <laughs> Always glad for a coffee. Can I interrupt you for a second? <laughs> I'm in a rush. I'm just sorting something out with this cow face here who doesn't pay on time. Where should we start? Teeth or knees? Please, don't let him. I only owe 12 rubles. You'll make it up to me. Every kopieka. Yes, I will pay it all. Thank you, Mr. Nijit. We're not saying goodbye yet. The boys will take you to stage two of our little chat. Get him out of here. <laughs> so, how'd you take it? Black or cream and sugar? Black, strong, no sugar. Tell me what brings you here. That's the way to do it. There's a certain woman who would like to disappear from Warsaw. Conventional transportation isn't an option. What exactly do you mean by disappear? I don't want to kill her. It's Warsaw, Victor. We have a lot of options. We can ship her out of the country, send her to a brothel, kill her, and use the corpse to fertilize geraniums. So be careful what you wish for. <laughs> I'm looking for safe and discreet transportation to Vienna. On the double quick. Sadly. The shifts can't help. That's not our line. Passport policy is a nightmare, and smuggling will get you the news. Not worth it. But I know a man, Javier... Javier something or other. Find him? Um, although, finding him might be tricky. Mm. What kind of name is that? Argentinian? Spanish? Who the hell knows? Maybe he had a sailor for a dad. You know anything more about this Javier fellow? He's a legend. He smuggled socialists, contraband. Recently, he had seven kilos of TNT inside biographies on Skawan. Why is he so hard to find? Because he's the best at what he does. You know where I can find him? Thank the gods of chaos that you've got a great buddy like me. <laughs> there are rumors going around that Javier's staying on one of the boats on the river. It's called the Malenka. I'd start there. Thanks. I'll head off. The line delivery. Not so <laughs> fast. Have you been to Povishla since you got back from your travels? Yes, as it happens. A rather unique neighborhood. Fishermen, porters, and craftsmen, all trying to make ends meet. Is that all you've noticed? More or less. 
Stuff goes on there that make your blood curdle. The locals can't stand outsiders and protect their own. Don't go around grilling random people. Thanks. I can handle it from here. <laughs> your coffee. Updated my journal. Uh, can I just talk to Marita again? I just want to see if I can get any more experience points. You seem happy. What's going on? Saturday. That's what's going on. I'm pretty sure today's not Saturday. It is Saturday. Live your life like every day was Saturday. New style? Some might like it. I'm sorry. I think I'll deal with it some other time. Feel invited. Yeah, huh. It doesn't seem like there's anything to pick up on here, so... There's something going on with Abaritza that we can't fully follow up on yet. Where's this trying to take me? Just the tram over here? Probably. Alright, we'll go to Javier's barge. Which should just, I presume, be on the docks. There we go. Photograph. It depicts a young man posing in a studio. Words full of disbelief seeped into the surface of the paper when she saw him after he had gone to the barber. Is it really you? Without the beard, it's like you're a different person. Hmm. So is, er, Javier's barge is going to be not in the docks like I thought it would be. Ooh, there's stuff here to investigate. This is the artist shack. Excuse me, officer. What do you mean, not allowed? Sergeant Kadash, folks gotta work there. Feed their families. We're conducting an operation. More like farting around. My taxpayer rubles are paying for you to chow down on herring. Let me through to the wharf. And what are you here for? Sergeant Kadash, I'm here on official business. <laughs> of course. Boys, let this gent through. Well, ain't they all chummy? What about us? All right, so we got clearance into the barge area, the the docks down here. Am I using this stolen Akrona ID? That's actually pretty clever. I like how they're like, no one else is allowed in, but also there's tons of people around. <laughs> Just like literal workers and stuff down here. Huh. How romantic, a nice little boat. Bloodstained bandages. The sloppily thrown aside bandages bear traces of blood. The bandages were wrapped around healthy, strong, uninjured hands, and only later got soaked in blood. The blood of an opponent who got punched, his face punched in, losing several teeth in the process. 
Sheets are strewn about carelessly. The sheets bear traces of passion. They got some of them stains on them. Javier Snuffbox. Snuffbox. A snuffbox with coca leaves. It's an indispensable aid that someone can't do without. One's hand is instinctively guided towards the snuffbox for support before any planned physical exertion. Before a fight, when one needs a vigorous boost, or in the bedroom, when the situation calls for equally vigor vigorous stimulation. Punching bag. A battered, handmade punching bag. Looks sturdy. One, two, one, two. Drops of sweat trickle down his head, irritated by thought. Blows fall to their rhythm, precision, eagerness, and the readiness to improvise. The blows struck with gloves left a clear trace on the bag. It has the force of a rushing river, the unpredictability of a flood, and the joy of the first drops of spring rain. The scattered clothes suggest someone lives here. Clothes thrown from the shoulders like ballast lie in various nooks and crannies of the lodgings, waiting for someone to pick them up and put them on again, dirty and crumpled as they are. Whoever lives here doesn't exactly keep it spick and span. Javier's Barge Javier has created a veritable bachelor's den for himself on the barge. This is where he lives, trains hard, celebrates victories in the company of women, and has them console him after losses. It seems that life revolves around fighting. I should look around the neighborhood for a sports club or a ring. Looks like Javier trains. I think I'll get off the barge is a quest. Enough of this, Narishkeet. Say who you are and what you're doing on my turf. My name is Viktor Shursky. First, show yourself, coward. You're in no position to raise your voice. Ooh, cool persona. It's better that way. We can talk as equals. What are you making such a gavolt for? What do you want? Your salutor. I don't know him. He's a debunk. He looks around for lost souls who don't know better and go where they shouldn't. Terrifying. I didn't know I was on someone's stuff. People here have got enough problems of their own without some goyish outsider coming and giving them crap. Get to the point. I'm looking for Javier. What for? Let's say I need his services urgently. Is that all? I took you for someone else. I can introduce you to Javier. You interested? I know Javier likes to fight. So, should we head to the boxing ring? Something like that. I see you've sniffed out what you can. Shall we? Who did you take me for earlier? Nothing of interest to you. Internal neighborhood affairs. That's all? No extra conditions or requests? Tongue of a devil, heart of an angel. That's me. <laughs> Lead the way. I like this character a lot. You sure changed your tune quickly. Welcome to Povishla. Fighting first, hugging later. <laughs> Ariel Rafe. Stick with me and they won't touch a hair on your head. Just don't come on Saturdays. Welcome to the dungeon. A mecca of gambling and violence. You see the box above the ring? I'll wait there. Make yourself comfortable. Put a bet on the fight. And come find me. Okay. Interesting. So we have a whole bunch of stuff to play with. Lost bet. September 2nd, Bar Chick versus Soup. Javier's fight list. Red-Eyed Vaklov, beaten in the second round. Denny Vulcan. 
Oh. Oh, no, that's not D Donis. That's Dennis. Yielded in the third round. Soup draw. Joaquin Hernandez won in the third round. Gordon Hermanas. See the only spectacle of its kind in Warsaw. Gunmen and American Indians straight from the Wild West. Sitting Bull, the legendary American Indian chief. Sweet Annie Oakley and the mighty Gordon sisters come and taste America. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so there is stuff to interact with. Boxing gloves. The names Bar Shizik have been embroidered. Oh no, it uh took it away from me. There we go. It has been embroidered around the wrists. A clear trace of thoughts can be seen on the gloves. Sometimes they're violent, sometimes they're gentle, like the current of a river. Boxing lover. It's kind of funny. Here we go. Familiar trace. Trace in the boxing gloves is the same one I found on the punching bag on the barge. The illegal fighting star. Barshizik suffers from a serious hip injury. That's one of his secrets. The trace on his gloves is identical to one I found on the barge. Javier is Barshizik. Barshizik is Javier. Rofe's trying to make me look like a fool. I see. Place your bets, ladies and gents. Don't miss the chance to earn some dough. How about a bet? Who's fighting? You're awful twitchy. You want a spree or angling to rat us out? Who let you in here? Forgive me, sir. I'm at a Stark party and I'm a little... <laughs> Bad case of the jimmies? We all know that feeling. You're in our dungeon here, gent. No rules, no restraints. That's how we play around here. But you was asking who's fighting. Our pride and joy. A real canny lad from right here in Povishla. Barschik. Barschik. And in the other corner? Everybody who wants to take him on. All of them against one. Sort of a local tradition. So, you betting there, ain't you? I'd like to bet on the fight. On Barschik or on everybody else? Huh. Is this... I... Hmm. Let's bet on everybody else, because we're probably going to beat him. I'll bet a rubble on everybody else. Whatever you say. You take IOUs? Sure, why not? Get riding. <laughs> Excuse me. Are you ladies fighting here? Yep. Bessie and Alice Gordon from Buffalo Bills. They're a problem? No, not at all. I'm wondering how you ended up here. Getting even. We got a score to settle. Ugh, sure do. With Barstick. That fucker was going with me for a while. Only he didn't mention. He was dating me too. We're gonna jog his memory. American style. With violence. Yes. <laughs> I see. Good luck in the fight. Definitely betting on the ladies. You're fretting, Ariel. His hips are fine. Shouldn't you be at home right now? With your husband? And you, what are you doing here? Barstik, meet Victor Shulsky. He has business with Javier, and he'll do anything to meet him. Anything? Anything. Victor is a tomaturge. 
They might make for a fantastic main attraction. What do you think? Sorry, what? What? A magician in the ring? Yeah. Enough kidding around, Barstuk. I know you are Javier. Well, you almost impressed me. Javier Sanchez via Conejito Ramirez. Now that we know you ain't just anybody, maybe you can show us if you're the real deal, or just some stiff from downtown. <laughs> you getting in the ring? All right. Let's do it. Yeah, I like him. Let's do it. Beat the snot out of him. Y señores, a slight change of plans. I won't be fighting. I know, I know. Barzchik is the best. But listen. Marcel and his brothers-in-law versus a son of Shurmirsha. A swell, a magician. Victor Shursky. Shradmirsha. That's how it's pronounced. Don't embarrass me. All right, more combat. <laughs> All right, we'll switch to Velas here. Good luck, Kiss. Let's break his focus first. Good. Ouch. Quick attack on him to try and break it. We did, very good. Forty-five damage! Oh my god! Instant kill! What? That was a lot! Holy smokes! Velas is cool as hell! Ah, uh, but you're gonna get Bukovached. It's safe and I'm gonna Uber it. It's because we can take out different things and it's it's a better use of my action economy to just punch him like that. And can I planned attack? I can. This might just straight up take him out. I didn't mean to do that one, but that's fine. Oh yeah, that just took him out. We'll take whatever damage this kit take gives us. Sure. Not punched. Good, Victor. The crowd loves you. They love to hate you. That's all right, too. <laughs> Give them time. Does Victor deserve the neighborhood's respect? Maybe the Chicos from Fifth Alley will make mincemeat out of him. You can do it, Victor. More fights. All right, we can do this. Let's get on with it. Who's next? My pride's too low. I'm not too. I'm not enough of a sinner. I haven't sinned hard enough. Okay, that's really dangerous. 
So this is going to immediately be Velas. So we can take we can attack this guy. Okay. And then for him suffering. Oh, I can't status him. Oops. Oh no, I can, I can status him. I just can't um can't do anything else. Okay. Um, let's just try to take him out then. All right, didn't break that. Ouchie. Ouchie. All right, now that I have some status to use terror, reduces focus at the end of every round. I can now Lelek him. Destroys their planned action. This guy will die this turn, so I can just reaction him. Boink. And he should die. Yep. Okay. Uh, Vukovac, right? That's what he needs. Yep. And now we're just gonna bloody wedding. This should be enough. All right, never mind. Bukovac, turn canceled. It's fine. All right. Attack. Ooper, heal me. Broke his turn. Get some health back. Punch him in the face. See, we're getting, we're doing so well. Straight from America. They box like a whirlwind and kiss like a dream. The Gordon sisters. Gamer says, does this mean you bet against yourself? I don't know. Maybe Barchik will fight us at the end. Try not to get them even more damn riled up. I'm only here for professional purposes. A professional ass kicking. So be it. Let's fight. <laughs> it is a bummer that I don't have access to any of those those cool points, but the talking things, but I am genuinely nervous about using the flaws. Start by throwing status on them. These ladies are going to be really scary, I think. All right, knocked her out of turn order. Damn. Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. All right. Oh, I might die. This is bad. Uber, please. No, don't let it happen. Why did it happen? Oh, I have one health. Somehow. Got all my health back. Nice. Okay. Punch. Uber again. How is she still alive? What the fuck? There we go. Yep. 
8 HP back. Cause some suffering. Alright, that's still a lot of damage to take this turn. Two of my health points. 50% chance to triple that amount. Venomous Strike and Planned Attack. Let's see if we can take her out. It didn't break the damage. So we'll just keep trying to interrupt her. All right, hell yeah, we won. Oh, that was hard. Shit. How much more? Come on, smile. Bueno, that's enough for him. Come on, you deserve it. All right, hey. Did you see him? Not such a weak Chico after all. How do you feel? That was I'm tough. In the mood to do business. Tell me, gringo, how can Javier help you today? What was that whole farce for? What for? What for? Because Barstick's got a sore hip. That's what for. Mentiras y calumnias. Get to the point. I need a smuggler. <laughs> I know, Mago. Say what you need me to smuggle. Who? One lady needs to discreetly leave the Russian partition and get to Vienna. Oh, weird. For how much? She can afford it. Let's just say she's quite far up in high society. A rich chica wants to go to Vienna? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure somebody is looking for this clafter. Otherwise, she'd get on a train. If they catch us, it's la muerte para nuestros amigos. However, fortune favors chutzpah, after all. <laughs> Al diablo. The river giveth, the river taketh away. Vámonos. So, what's now? Now go get the lady, and we'll meet at Port Praga at night. Okay. But tell that clafter of yours that it ain't gonna be a tea party. Adios. Oh, I still need one point, and then we can get word five. We're so close. All right, we have to go to the Nadarjinskis next to pick up Svedwana. While we're around, let's just see if there's anything here to investigate. There is. The world would be a better place if we all practiced restraint. Javier wouldn't have got himself into an affair with the Gordon sisters. His sister wouldn't have wanted to bludgeon him to death. And I wouldn't be in the ring as a stand-in. What do we have instead? Pain. That's cool. Is there anything else? No. All right, so back out to Pavishla. I'm just, uh, I'm just really stuck here now, just trying to figure out what I what we want to grab. Pawn shop. Pledge anything opened on a desk. Is there anything in here I can actually investigate yet? What's now? Do you remember Mieszko said Semin? No, I already investigated this, I think. Yeah. Goodbye. There's nothing around here to investigate, so we're not missing anything there.
Hold it, Tempermancer. For I am White Roma. Pardon? You are Victor Shulski, son of Shrudmieszcze. Your family is famous for its powerful Tempermancers. Uh huh. If you're a fan, I'm not one to give autographs. I am a master of Tempermancy, White Roma, and I challenge you to a duel. Everything is at stake. What? The winner will be declared King of the Tempermancers. Okay. Relinquish the title. Uh... I kind of want to do that just to see what it does, but... <laughs> I don't know. Should we do it? Should we do the battle, or should we just... I don't want to. It is impossible to escape destiny. My power is still growing, and eventually you will have to face me. Farewell, Victor Schultz. Okay. The things people come up with. That was weird. What happens if we were to to actually take him up on the offer? Let's just. All right, let's uh, let's just make a save really quickly and see what happens if we beat him right here. <laughs> I'm very curious about this. All right, let's hit save. Alright, so what happens if we try to, if we actually accept the battle here? If you insist. The memorable moment is here. To me, devoted visitors. To me, salutors. Oh, God. Huh? What? <laughs> Astral Visitor Maniac Mystical Visitor Lechu What? <laughs> what is happening? Lelek Bukovac Alright, we absolutely want him To get Bukovac right off the bat Howl to you Immune to negative statuses, so we'll just punch. Good, we broke his... Okay, interesting. Do that. Well, we'll just lelek him. Just to break the trait. And that's fine. Sure, we'll just do that. And then for him... Old wound. I'm gonna take a lot of damage this round, but that's fine. Bonk. What is this one? Planned hit. We'll just punch him. Bonk. So reduce some of the damage we take. And then... Just take him out. Uh, 
All right. I love the way Velas looks. He's so cool. Just punch him. Break, please. It worked. Okay, cool. Ouchie. Give me 16 HP back. Okay. Now we can just punch him, knock him out. I hope that you also took a valuable and instructive lesson from us. I accept the title of King of the Templemancers. I would suggest that neither you nor your salutor strain yourselves anymore. Your triumph is temporary, Viktor Shulsky. I have not yet said my last word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will find you when you are ready for the next fight. That's what I'm afraid of. I, w I wonder what happens if, people come up if you just sit, if you deny him every single time he appears in the game. <laughs> just like, what the hell? <laughs> Sam says, I wish he had less limbs, though. I like that he has, like, cool arms. That's my favorite aspect of Velish. Velish is, like, my, my favorite persona so far. I think it is so sick looking. Such a cool character.